All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how Figma works. So what you see right now is the inside of Figma. I have opened Figma on my Google Chrome. So you don't have to download Figma. You don't have to download software. You basically log in. There is a desktop app available as well for both Windows and Mac. But right now I'm just opening it on Chrome. So it's basically like logging into a website. But before you get here, you actually need to download Figma. So what you have to do is you have to go to figma.com and they have this button called try Figma for free. Now you can either continue with Google or create an account. I would recommend you to create an account so that you always have your individual password just on Figma. Once you're done creating your account, verifying your account, you will enter Figma and this is how things look like. So you might feel slightly intimidated, but let me break this down for you. You have three options on the top. One is new design file. Then there's a new FigJam file. FigJam is a separate product altogether. So ignore this for now. And then import file. So maybe you must have uh, designed in a different platform, right? So you can import your older design files into Figma through this feature. Then they give you some FigJam templates. So FigJam is basically for brainstorming. So they have a few templates that you can use, but you have to pay extra for FigJam editors. Right now, we will stick to Figma, the basic software that we're going to use for designing. So I have two files available here. And in Figma, you have this thing called Teams, right? So by default, I have one team, which is Ansh Mehra's team. And uh, I basically have like some random team project, which is there by default. And I have given this account access, viewing access to another file. These two files right here, I have viewing access to them. So I'll tell you what's going to happen. Your designer will have edit access. She will design your UI and give you viewing access. You will log in and then get your files here. So you can either access through the link or you will see your files here as well. So let me open this file UX for entrepreneurs. These slides are basically uh, like cue cards that I've been using. Uh, for the course that you're watching right now. So I use Figma to make my slides as well. But basically, this is how Figma looks like. You have a few tools on the very top. This would allow you to go back. This is my cursor. This is my panning tool so I can move around. And this tool right here is the comment tool. So if I have to put a comment, I just click once and say that, hey, this looks awesome. And just push it there. Right. So you can see the comments on the right side. So usually this is how uh, your Figma canvas would look like. You have pages on the left side. So basically different pages can have different aspects of your app. So these are pages within pages. You have these different layers. So what you see on the right side, right? All of these are in layers on the left side. You have a layers panel and you can zoom in by holding the command key and just dragging the cursor in and out. So you drag in. And you can see all these different screens. I've made the onboarding app uh, and I've put this small comment card here. These cards are called annotation cards and you can get them for free from Figma community. So if you go here, if you go to back to files, there's this thing called community where you can find like plugins and free templates and whatnot, right? So if I go here and search for a UI kit, press enter and go to file plus templates then so you can take a lot of inspiration from these free files but let's just get back to our original file that we were on awesome so you'll notice that on the very top you have this thing called ask to edit because i only have viewing access so if i've sent a request the person who has the actual edit access needs to approve my request right now it i still have a view only access if i get an editor's access i would have to pay extra but you know if you're the entrepreneur or founder and if you just need to give feedback and not actually do hands-on design you can very easily you know have just viewing access so this is how figma works right like you have these different screens and you would have different iterations and you know, every small thing about the app, whether it's like buttons and components, everything is there on Figma. So for example, here's a system that I've made for input fields, right? So you use input fields for uh, writing text. So this is how we make different edge cases. So this is the default state. This is the focus state. This is the typing state. This is the disabled state. Then you might have an icon on the left. You can swap this icon as well. So I've used the phone icon here, but you might need it for an address or an email ID. Then you have error messages. You have prompts. So all of these things, right? So 
on on the outset on first impressions it's an input field but look at how many variations i need for an input field for a button so you basically make a system you make a proper library of these components and then you take out instances so if my button label this is my main component then i use the instances of that component in my real app so all of these white buttons here they are all children they are all instances of this main component right here and then you also have this thing called styles so basically you can visually see that this button is white in color but there is a name that i have allotted to this color so here you can see it says dark ui contrast 4 how do you define this that's a completely different story you don't have to worry about this but your designers need to right so i'll i'll tell you i'll give your designers proper resources as to how they can declare these styles but yeah uh, you can't do much but just comment and when you select a specific element on the right side you have all these properties that is mostly useful to developers uh because even developers get the same viewing access but yeah basically just wanted to show you that this is how a figma file looks like you have all these different designs and you put in your comments if you want to hide the left and right menu just have command backslash and it would just hide everything so you get more space to sort of see your files properly and it's an infinite canvas right so you have like all this unlimited space on a single page and you can bring back your side panel by command backslash and you know these are different pages so yeah i think uh, this would have given you some basic idea i would still recommend you to check out the playlist the figma playlist that i've put in the description because that would give you like a proper walk through of all the basic features uh, you know from uh, from an editor's perspective as well so yeah uh, see you in the next video see you if you like this video make sure you click on like and hit the subscribe button i regularly upload videos on ux design marketing and storytelling